Happy New Year. January 1st, we've got an air conditioner that uh, is not cooling the kitchen properly. So we have it powered down right now. But while it's not raining, it was pouring rain. While it's not raining, I'm gonna fire it up and walk you through what we've got. All right, so the blower motor just started. It's not calling for cooling yet. We have two stage, right, it's a single stage will call and that'll pull in, you'll hear the click. The compressor will start, should start, and the condenser fans should start. <coughs> okay, that kicked in, compressor started. So what's weird about this is that this center fan comes on all the time. It runs when the compressor's running. And although it looks like it's running, it's actually not. Um, it's pulling backwards. These two fans run on pressures. So as this coil gets hotter and hotter, because that fan isn't pulling the heat out of it, these fans are speeding up to try and overcome the high pressure. As they speed up, it's supposed to pull air through the coil, but since that fan is dead, it's actually spinning backwards and air is getting sucked into it, bypassing the coil. And you can hear the compressor, I'm gonna give it a second. It likely can't survive a whole lot longer and it will shut off on high pressure. We haven't put gauges on it yet. We wanted to see what's it doing, why isn't it cooling? Also kind of a, so it is blowing that up. All right, that fan is blowing up. That fan is not. That fan is sucking down. That fan is blowing up. So it's deceptive. You think it's running, but it's not. And that's it pumping down on high head pressure. We figure out if we're getting voltage to that fan or not. Okay. We tested the power coming to the motor from the fan when it was there. There's another connection under here, so I'm going to test this. It's only 120, so I have two legs coming in. So here's yellow from the capacitor. What's our voltage? 116. So 120, okay. And, and the hot line in. 120. So we're sending power. Let me go across the two. What do we got? Nothing. Is this a 120 motor? Or is it a 240? to zero is because it's the same leg of power. It's, it's missing, it's missing 120 volts. It's, 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 getting 240 volts to the motor so we don't condemn the motor yet we got to find why there's missing the power all right and the rain is back so we're here under umbrellas so we're looking at the schematic these two OFMs outdoor fan motors those get their power the actual leg of power runs through the speed control Right, so you can see the black comes out to that, and then the black comes out to that. So these are the two that are working. So this one is the one we're talking about. This yellow and the brown has the, the squiggly lines. 
you can chase it back and see those come to the capacitor. So that's what the squiggly lines mean. That's 120 volts. It actually shows up on both sides, but that's still one leg of power. It needs the black. And the black is where we don't have 24 volts. So now we need to chase this back. There's a low ambient relay. We need to check that to see if we have 120 volts there. If we don't, then we're gonna check it back further to this OFTB outdoor fan terminal block. And I don't know what those mean. There's a, there's a key, it tells you. So uh, if we don't have 120 volts there, then we go back further. There's an OFR, an outdoor fan relay. So somewhere in this, we're losing our 120 volts to power this fan. We'll try and navigate that in the real world. All right, so it's beautiful out. So let's explain, right? So we chased the fan wiring back. I remember we were chasing the black wire of the fan. And the first thing it hit was the LAR, the low ambient relay. Guess what? When I look at this unit, I don't have a clue what the LAR is and what it looks like. But what we know from the diagram is that black wire goes through the low ambient relay. So this is the low ambient relay. So we tested with the meter our black wire to ground and we had nothing. We tested what's power coming in and we had 120 volts. So that meant the relay was not closed. A relay is like a contactor. So we tested across this coil and we did not have 24 volts. We went back to the schematic and we found that this purple wire goes to the low ambient temperature probe. So we followed the wire back and forth and it comes over here down to this and then there's our low ambient temperature probe. So when it gets really cold outside, it knows that it's really cold and it says, I don't need to run the fans, it's freezing. So we undid these. We undo this. Okay. Help me out here. Grab the top of that wire. Nope, just grab the top of that wire. Okay. Also, we're getting rained on. Yeah. I took my meter to one side of this to ground and had 24 volts. I went to the other side uh, and I had nothing. So power was running into that, but it was not running out. So this is just a low ambient relay. This is not a safety. This is an, uh, an efficiency thing. Can you hang on to this for a second? There you go. So by connecting it directly, the worst thing that's gonna happen is anytime the compressor comes on, it doesn't care what the temperature is. So again, the worst thing that happens is it's 20 degrees outside and we don't need to run the fans, but we are. So, crank her up. It's gonna take a minute for the thermostat to wake up and then this should, we've put everything back together and uh, should be go time. Okay, so she just woke up, blower motor's going, waiting for the contactor. Contactor, fan. Again, these ones now, they're just hanging out. There you go. 120 volts missing from the fan. We're gonna button this thing up, go dry off. <laughs>